all right so there's something that i haven't shared with y'all um and i've been meaning to talk about this for a while but i just haven't talked about it i don't know why amazon has put me in a position that i never thought i could be in all right so check this out this opportunity came to me that i never thought i'll have never thought about it never dreamt it never nothing it so here i am a little amazon delivery driver doing his thug fizzle right picking up packages dropping them joints off scanning them getting my van scanning packages being annoyed chilling with wonton from time to time and that's just what happens all right so this lady reached out to me on buzzfeed you heard me right buzzfeed and asked me if i wanted to be a part of this uh review for a delivery driving video game now she asked me if i wanted to be a part of it i said cool sounds like a cool opportunity i would like to be on buzzfeed i never thought me working for amazon yeah Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Hey, Wonton out here Aaron. acting nutty. Yeah, so we finally linked up. We're not doing the mukbang today because we out here shooting, doing videography and photography stuff. But I just wanted to make this quick little video. So, I forgot what I was talking about. Who am I really to be asked of to be a part of a delivery driving review game? I'm just a small town guy named Aaron Sterling. Like, I don't do anything spectacular. I'm, I'm a pretty average kind of joke, you feel me? Nothing too crazy about me. But somebody had looked at my YouTube videos and reached out to me and asked me if I would be a part of something like this. This is crazy, like this is a crazy opportunity that I never thought would ever happen. It's dope. What, what are you be doing? What are you doing right now? What is that? But honestly though, like, I make Amazon delivery driving videos. Um, they're cool, they're fun. They're funny at times, you know, they're entertaining. Sometimes they're even informative. Like I like to throw a little bit of education in there for the new drivers, but I've never seen like somebody doing this, reaching out to me and be like, hey, do you want this opportunity? Like I never, I never imagined it, not based off the Amazon delivery stuff. So to me, it just shows me that people are gonna notice like, I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't have thousands and thousands of followers. I don't have brands just reaching out to me all the time. So, to me, this is a dope opportunity. Like, this is something cool. And it just gave me more appreciation for what I do. Like, not just the Amazon side of things, but the fact that I just get in front of a camera and I talk. And you can do it too. Like, these opportunities can come to you too. So, if you ever thought about being a YouTuber or doing a podcast or whatever the case may be, just do it. Like, you never know what opportunities can come out of it. This isn't the first opportunity I ever had, but this is the first one I had in a minute. Before I had a skincare uh, company reach out to me and I did a video for them, I had other people reach out to me and offer me stuff, but I just never took those opportunities because I, I, I was just kind of skeptical about them. But the fact that just holding this camera in my hand can lead to different opportunities is crazy it's really crazy to me like i go to work to make money right i make these videos and also make money off of youtube then i have somebody reaching out to me that wants me to do something they're they'll pay me for that so it's like all these avenues of income because i'm holding a camera in my hand it's, it's mind-blowing it's mind-blowing man and i'm not saying it to sound cocky i'm really not but I just hope this can be like some type of motivation to somebody out there. Like I said, if you want to make content, make that content. That's it. If you want to be a YouTuber, be a YouTuber. That's it. Look, he also does YouTube. One time. Yo. Is your channel monetized? Yes. There you go. There you go. Make content, monetize your channel, make some income. Now, I'm not trying to say I make money from YouTube, but I make I made a couple dollars from YouTube, which is cool. Low money's better. Ah, I spit. It got on my forehead. It's nasty. Low money's better than no money. Trust and believe. A lot of this stuff I'm gonna cut out. <laughs> but I'm gonna say it right now, just in case I wanna keep it. Always remember, low money's better than no money. You gotta start from somewhere, even if from the bottom. Work your way up. Ooh. If you have a chance to get the more, the most bang out of your buck. 
That's the best way to do it. You can make, it's like if you're at work and you do school work. Same idea. If you're at Amazon, we're at Amazon, might as well record videos. I'll record TikToks while I'm there. I'm, uh, what's it called, in the TikTok creator fund. Are you? Yeah. I'm in the creator fund and my channel is monetized. You know, I sell photos on Google. All the things that I'm at, I'm at work working. If I, there's been days I brought my camera because we deliver in the country and I take pictures all the way out there. That's a free drive. You think about it, I got paid to drive to a shoot that I'm gonna use for my website that I'm gonna make money from. Towards you getting your car on your day off, spending your gas and doing it. I just spent the company's time and the company's gas to do that. Bro, you don't wanna say that? Cause the company end up seeing is they gonna let you go. You see Wonton up in here trying to get some, uh, he's trying to get minutes off of me again, right? Uh huh? <laughs> yeah, all right, they about to, this joint about to get uploaded tonight. You gonna go to work tomorrow and they gonna let you go. But maybe they might still pay you your three hours. Thank you. All right, let's go. Whose man's is this? Trash. Damn it. Damn What's up? Damn it. Damn it. Oh, he's trying to get some clips on. Damn it. Damn it. Thank you. All right, so the moral to this is, no matter what you're doing in life, somebody's always gonna be watching you. Somebody's always gonna see the potential in you, even if you don't see it in yourself. Not to say that I don't see potential in myself, it's just that I didn't see the Amazon content leading me to opportunities like this. I should have known better.